You went tuned to the wettest channel on the internet. We're back and we're back at the most hated place for the voters. Yup, it's the gas pump because right now the gas prices are really high. But what can you do? We need it. So let's fill up and get going with the day. Because if you saw the earlier video, you know it started the right way. But now it's gonna get even better. Because the water fund starts, but I guess every fun activity has its price. All filled up and ready to go. Now we're heading over to the boat ramp to get the hopper in the water. And today we got my dad riding along for the Quito and taking the boat back to the house. And the ride from the ramp to the house by water, I say is about 10 minutes or less. And that's because I don't if not, it'll be even faster. How you do it from the ramp to the house and to the house to the water and now we just chill and relax and wait to see what comes up next right so that's behind the scenes what we do when we ain't out on the water just do things around the house and eat and eat and eat and now we wait and figure out where we're gonna go with the show all right guys so she's back at it again check it out find it on the wall there we go. Mama Mermaid and little Gabby Mermaid. And now she's working on something else. Look at this. What are you working on? A coconut. She's working on a coconut display there. All right, so check out the mermaids. Pretty cool, right? All right, so while she plays there, us boys gonna go out in the water and try to like fishing because we found a spot. Well, they told us about a spot here on the West Coast that we're going to go check it out. It's kind of windy, but we're going to take the chance and uh, I don't know. Let's see. We're going to test our luck. So let's go with the show. Let's go with the fishing show, right? So this is a good thing, right? Don't matter the time, don't matter the place. We're just going to go. It's wow. It's windy. It's still windy. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll see what the day brings us. On the flyers. All right. All right, guys. So we're off to another water adventure here on the West Coast, and this time it should be pretty interesting because we're going pretty far. We're going actually Malacha Island, and it's on the northwest side of Cape Coral because we heard from the locals that. There is pretty good fishing all inside the bay area by the bridges. So we're gonna go check it out. And my dad's coming along for the ride with us today. So here we go with the show. One more time in the water. On a windy day, hopefully it's not that bad out there. We're hoping for the best because the conditions look uh, very windy, man. It's all good in the hood.
And by the way, I would like to say hello to William. According to his daughter Daisy, he's a big fan of the channel and he watches all the time. And also, I would like to say hello to Miguel that he says he loves watching the channel because the water relaxes him while he's watching the videos. And also Tammy from Wisconsin that she watches the videos while her husband and her kids are out of the house and she can watch them without being interrupted. And also, I would like to say hello to a local fan here on the West Coast that he works on Dunkin' Donuts on the Prado Boulevard. Thank you for watching and I would like to thank everybody around the world for watching and commenting on the videos and letting us know what you guys think. And definitely, I would like to thank everyone that ordered the Sausage Times t-shirts because I started it as a joke and it winded up a lot of people liked it because I have 350 orders the first week and I had to reorder more merchandise. So thank you so much you guys for the love and support for the Sausage Time t-shirts. Back to the water, back to adventure. And Malacha Island is about an hour and 35 minutes from our house because we have to swing all the way around the bottom of Cape Coral and then come back up north. But the ride is not bad at all because it's inside the bay. But the only problem today is a little windy. But the cool thing about Malacha Island is an island inside the bay of a population around 600 people. And almost all the homes have water access. And we have reached the bridge that connects Cape Coral over to the island. And normally you could find a lot of people fishing off of it. And we made it over to the north side of the island but now we're hoping that the bait and tackle shop is still open because it is kind of late and we only brung frozen bait but when we got to the store there was a big sign saying he's gone fishing too so i guess it's time to test our luck and Ferquito's luck with the cast net hoping we could get some live bait if not we're gonna have to stick to the frozen Well, we didn't get lucky, so I guess we stuck to the frozen bait and hopefully we can find something around these docks. And yep, if you notice, we got our jackets on because I guess it's a cold front coming and caught us on the way up here. And that brings to my attention that Miami weather, it could be sunny and all of a sudden it's a storm. But here on the west coast, it could be sunny and all of a sudden it gets really cold. And we're going to try around these docks here because we noticed there was a few people fishing off the bridge. So we didn't really want to interrupt them or accidentally cut their lines with the motor. So we're going to get close as we can to the docks and test our luck. And when I said test our luck, yeah, we're really testing it because like I said, we have no live bait. So we're using frozen shrimp, frozen squid, and for the keto's using a lure. Mira, mira, mira. But do you know who's having a better day than us? This lucky bird that dove into the water, caught a fish, and now he's eating it right by us. And I think the bird is a hawk. And the fish was a jack. And I think this is awesome. I didn't catch him while he dove into the water, but I did catch him 
eating his dinner. And I think the hawk brought us luck because while we're watching him, one of the lines took off. Now let's see what we caught. No buzz. Come all the way out here to catch this. Can you believe that? <laughs> a pufferfish. Oh my goodness. No, lo más lindo como como se prenden ellos. The ride was long. It's beautiful out here. Maybe next time I trailer the boat instead of actually driving the boat, because it was like an hour and thirty minutes here. I guess you know. Can't have to do it. I was always guessing time. Oh oh oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, meow meow. Oh, meow meow. <laughs> okay, so check this out. We got a puffer fish and a catfish. Ain't no major hits. But we're not gonna give up as yet because fishing has two major parts. One is a lot of patience and the other is a lot of luck and involves a lot of time. Bring him in, baby. Bring another, it in, baby. Uh, another, I need a fillet of fish from McDonald's. Yep. <laughs> another fillet of fish from McDonald's. <laughs> a fillet of fish. Anybody want a fillet of fish from McDonald's? Yo, tremendo gato. Well, guys, we're gonna call it a day because enough catching catfish. Oh, no luck here, just a long drive. So, since we got a long drive, we're gonna start heading back. Maybe stop somewhere else along the way, but not here. Not here. Well, a lot of our subscribers like our videos because we are like a reality show without a written script. Well, it doesn't get any more real than this. No fish, no luck. So, we're going back. Just a fun ride to a new place. guys I would have loved to bring in a big fish with a big fight and lots of them but this is not like the other fishing shows we do it for the fun of it and to entertain ourselves and explore new places and bring you guys along for the ride so I hope you guys enjoy the videos but something we're really enjoying is this beautiful sunset on a ride back home but something that we didn't expect happened the temperatures dropped even more so we kind of had to huddle up and let the center console windshield block some of the wind because if i remember correctly looking at the temperature it dropped to 66 degrees and that is snowing weather for us floridians well i hope you guys enjoy the videos because we sure do we love making them and sharing them with you so until next time see you out in the water